Morning, Dun. Morning. Thank you for coming today. It's a pleasure. Before we start the building inspection, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience, tell them who you are, where you're from, what do you do? Sure. So my name is Dun. I'm a local uh, building inspector based in Hurstville here, and I'm part of a, uh, the gym building inspection group. My background is as an architect, so uh, something slightly different to most of the inspectors out there. First question. Sure. What exactly is pre-purchase building and test inspection and why is it important to have one done? So basically, in a nutshell, a uh, building and pest inspection report is a formal assessment uh, that is carried out by an independent building uh, inspector or building professional like myself and it's given the prospective buyer an overall assessment on the condition of the property. Uh, why is it important to have one? So basically when a buyer walk through a property, usually they only have 10, 15 minutes to walk through and they only give you the time to walk through the commonly accessible area to pretty much everyone. Uh, where someone like myself walking with property, we will be able to walk through all the hidden space, like the subfloor, the roof cavity. Uh, so give you a more thorough assessment on the property. But more importantly, the bottom line with the building and timber pest inspection report will give you able to identify any major uh, defect or issue or any termite damage that potentially could be a pitfall if the buyer um, proceed ahead with the property because that could potentially set you uh, back financially that you might, might not have the fund for. Question number two, what does your inspection service cover and are there any limitations? So pretty much with a building and timber pass, we basically cover for two components um, as the report suggests. There's a building component and then a timber pass component. So with the building component, we are looking to identify any major or minor or just, you know, uh, safety hazard with the building component or building structure of the property. And with the timber pass report component, we're looking for any evidence of active termite activity or any uh, previous or past damage that uh, occurred at the property. In terms of limitation, obviously as a building inspector, we are not licensed trade like electrician or plumber. So we can visually inspect those area and uh, note them down on visual assessment, but we cannot give an assessment on any further than that in terms of whether they are correctly uh, installed and whatnot. So those are the limitations in terms of our report. And also we don't uh, go into things like compliance and on building structure, what have been built and so on and so forth. Amazing. Question three, how do you report on the findings? What items are included in the report? So basically once we walk through the property I said on the building component, we, once we identify any issue or defects, we uh, classify them into the level of severity. Um, so you start with um, a safety hazard where it would identify anything we deem that unsafe for the occupant or the um, owner and then we classify unsafe or as a safety hazard and then um, anything that major we deem that to be a major defect obviously we report accordingly so then then you got minor and so on and so forth how do you report and what items are included so basically with the item included obviously with the building we're generally looking at the building structure so any furnishing or any for example, floor cover that might not be included because that's you know part of the furnishing. Um, and in terms of any external building structure, like a carport structure or external shed, we do cover those kind of items. And including up until the, the fence line, the boundary fence, we do inspect all those areas. Perfect. Number four, what technology or tools do you use during your inspections? So there's quite a few um, tools that we use during our inspection. One of them, the main thing is probably a torch that gives us access to a darker space and whatnot. A um, moisture meter to detect any moisture um, at the property or a uh, thermal imaging camera that will also help with the um, uh, termite and timber pest uh, inspection. And also the thing like a tapping tools, um, spirit level, uh, those kind of to also help with the inspection as well. Number five, can you inspect properties of any age or type and are there any that you specialize in? Um, so pretty much in terms of inspection, uh, it's a bit cliche, but we pretty much inspect anything from big to small. Uh, but generally, who do you inspect, you know, whether the com uh, commercial, industrial, residential, ranging on freezing standing house to a uh, strata building uh, complex or apartment. Uh, personally, uh, I tend to do 90% of my work is in uh, residential uh, pre-purchase. Uh, so that I would say, 
more where I'm more specialized in my pocket kind of thing. Amazing. Number six, how long will the inspection take and how soon will I receive the report? So a uh, typical inspection depends on the size of, of the property, obviously. For example, you uh, get me to inspect a unit or an apartment, that typically takes me about 20 to 30 minutes. But whereas I'm inspecting something like this house, probably take me about you know, 90 minutes to two hours because of the extra space where this, uh, the roof cavity and the subfloor where I have to get into and make sure those are thoroughly inspected. So yeah, and actually once I come through the property, the buyer expect the report to come back to them within 24 hours. Amazing. Number eight, can you share an, in, an interesting or scary story interesting. about building and test inspections? Sure. I mean, fortunately, I haven't come across any uh, close call or mishap, but um, interesting, I, I do, I have rocked up to a few property or the wrong property and seen the reaction of the, the vendor or the owner. It was you know, quite interesting. Anything that you found under the house or in the roof that's pretty scary or Oh, oh, from time to time I find, uh, find you know, dead carcass of you know, possum or rats and so on and so forth, which were common. Um, I haven't come across uh, myself personally, but some of my colleagues have come across uh, snake skins and um, so on and so forth. So it could be quite scary down there. Okay, last question. How do people reach out to you if they want to engage your service? So in order to reach out to me, obviously people can contact the uh, uh, gyms group through their main number, which is 131 uh, 546. Then also they can uh, request for uh, myself, so request for Dung or Gym Building Inspection Hurstville, or they can just go to Google and look up Gym Buildings in Hurstville and be able to get me um, through there.